Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm not in my bathroom. I am at the Hoxton Hotel in Shoreditch and I'm just in the shower room of my hotel room. I thought I would share with you a really quick after summer skincare routine. So I'm just in my pajamas, <laughs> looking all lovely. I'm just gonna uh, clip my little puff out of the way. Just using my little Cantu hair clips. I'm wearing makeup on my face, so I'm going to double cleanse using the Body Shop's Chamomile Cleansing Butter. Yeah, I love this stuff. It's a tenner, it lasts quite a long time. So just scoop a little bit, it's like a cleansing balm. I'd say it's a good dupe for the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. Scoop, and I'm gonna massage that. Even on my lips as well, because I had a lip stain on all over my face to stop breaking down that makeup. I didn't have any mascara on but I do have eyebrow gel. Am I whispering? It's like one o'clock in the morning. I don't know if my neighbours can hear me. So I'm sorry. This bathroom feels like really echoey. <laughs> Just gonna take my flannel run it under some warm to hot water. This warm water is really going to help take away the cleansing balm oil as well as lifting those impurities with it. So I just like to take a flannel and this is my Hampton and Astley flannel. I have a code for Hampton and Astley if it still applies I'll leave it in the description box. So take it. eyebrows as well and across the you know hairline jawline top tip of mine is to just start rinsing off the flannel straight away that way it doesn't give a chance for the makeup to like stain all of your flannels um, I mean they're clean anyway but you know what I mean after a few washes your flannels can get a bit grubby also so that it's ready for our second cleanse I usually would go in with a slightly more nourishing um, cleanser for my second cleanse, but as I'm traveling, I've just got this one with me, totally fine. Just gonna go in again. Go in again with the flannel. I like to use the other side that we didn't use for the makeup. Sometimes I'll like rinse my face off again, but I think we're okay. So I'm just going to use one of the towels just to gently pat dry my face because I'm going to give it a quick tone. I'm going to use the La Roche Posay Cera Zinc Zinc Sulfate Solution. Solution. It's a cleansing, soothing toner and great if you're suffering from any breakouts. I have dry skin but I do get congested skin so lots of under the skin bumps and I feel like this helps to start the process of kind of drying them out or either drawing them to the surface. So I'm just going to spray that all over. And because I don't have time to let it dry, I'm just going to pat it with some of this clean tissue. I would use a cotton pad if I had it handy. I'm still going to leave some remnants on there, like I'm just, you know, rebalancing the skin. But at this point, everything should be clean. Next I'm going to go with some eye cream. I'm just using the Dermalogica Total Eye Care. This has got SPF 15 in it. I use this interchangeably with the LMS Total Radiance Eye Cream, I think it's called. Just take it on my baby finger. It's quite easy to use. Just 
There's that underneath. Just use my ring or baby finger to massage that underneath my eyes. You know, prevention is better than the cure. Out for the PS de Resistance. Apparently the company's going bust, so get in whilst you can. It is the Ordinary's Vitamin C. I use the um, water-free stable solution. I think there's a slightly different one. This one's kind of grainy in texture, but it looks like this, and it is phenomenal at brightening up my sunspots, any hyperpigmentation, because I have been picking at my skin, and as I say, we had a long hot summer, which I was out and about in, so I have a couple of sunspots and a, a bit of hyperpigmentation, which this will help to naturally lift and lighten, and it's a great antioxidant for the skin. I don't take much at all. It does make the skin tingle as well. I would not use it in combination with any acids, like your acid exfoliators or retinols. Just use this vitamin C, and then maybe after one night, then you can go ahead and use your acid exfoliators or retinols. But this is quite strong on its own. So I just use a fingertip's worth. You know, start with a fingertip and then you can build it up. So I'm going to focus it on the sunspots mainly, where I've got it at the side of my face and some at the forehead. And it's kind of, it's quite thick and oily so it spreads really, really easily. I'm already getting that tingle. <laughs> They're really great solutions of vitamin C that are made in a way that works for our skin and that can stay on our shelf because you know pure vitamin C is very hard to come by and hard to keep stable so using ones like this or the one from the body shop is a great alternative the body shop one is more of an exfoliator but having that vitamin C it's going to help antioxidize and brighten the skin vitamin C actually goes hand in hand with vitamin E so I'm using just the super drug vitamin E facial oil I've had and used this for years, um, whenever I get like, if I burn myself, like little burn marks, I pop vitamin E on, soothes it, smooths the skin out and also helps to relieve and lighten scars. So the two really work in conjunction with each other to help brighten the skin that bit quicker and nourish the skin because vitamin E is really good for your skin. So I just do a couple of drops and this is gonna act as my nighttime moisturizer since this is my after summer skincare routine. My regular routine, I have a thicker nighttime moisturizer, but this will act as my oil replacement, let's call it that. Nighttime oil replacement, and I'm just pat it into the skin because it is an oil, so rubbing it in and trying to rub all that vitamin C is not really gonna work, but patting it in works quite well for me. I can just smooth the rest into my hands <laughs> and into my cuticles as well. Really good for your nails. So that is my super simple after summer skincare routine. Set you up for a really good winter. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on the next video. Bye.